Hi guys, it's Christy with Christy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for Cancer. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be putting the Tarot After cards on each of the placements here, as well as the regular Tarot. So we'll have what Tarot has, and then what comes after that. So <clears throat> this is kind of the journey that keeps moving forward. So then we're gonna have a look and see what's coming in for you. Cancer. And uh, one more. And we'll look at the bottom of the deck um, at the very end to see what messages may be still there for you. <laughs> we don't want all that. I'm just gonna pull some in. I'll put that one there. And I'll just read that all in the upright, so there's, well, I might just, however it comes in, I might just flip it over and see what it is. I might just read it however it comes up. Let's see how I'm feeling here about this. We got them all? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, let's look at the tarot and then we'll look at the after part. Okay, so there's no victory yet, but there will be cause for celebration coming in for you. And this may be something that's been a long time coming, I'm getting here. You've been very patient. I won't be surprised if I see the temperance card come out for you. Now, let's see. I might have to hold it back a bit so I can read it. A new, hmm, I'm gonna have to get my glasses. Hang on guys. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <clears throat> it says the new door is opening, step over the threshold. Aha, so this victory hasn't come in, but there's gonna be cause for success here and celebration coming in here. And it's just a matter of opening, well, the door is already opened. Um, it's just a matter of stepping through the door. And then it says here on the bottom of the deck, be the powerful space between opposite poles. So be balanced. Um, this has to do with balancing your light and your dark. I feel like you've already done the work for that. Nice. So something's coming where you're just going to have to walk through that door. Leave that fear behind. Let's see what emotions you get here. We have the sun in reverse. So with the sun in reverse right now, this is kind of, for me, saying that somebody might be immature or there's no peace for somebody maybe a distraction, a kind of feeling, maybe a secret, kind of feeling like unsuccessful. It hasn't happened yet. The victory hasn't happened. Okay. And then for whatever reason, like this is after tarot. So this is having someone help you break those vines that seem to be holding you to that fear but this is in reverse so this person hasn't come in um as a way of helping you see what you need to see here so let's look at what cards you have here i want to see what your theme might be here when it comes to this i'm going to just grab these cards and pull three out for you Okay, those two want it to come. Let's see, I got some new yellow cards with some new sayings, so let's see. Let's get a couple of those. Come on. Okay, there we go. 
All right, let's see what your theme is here before we get too far into your reading. Be kind-hearted in everything you do and expect nothing in return for helping others. So when you help somebody, you shouldn't be doing it to get something back from someone. This should be just out of the kindness of your heart with no, not, no expectation of having something come back for you, okay? Let's see here. Octorian star seed, emotionally and mentally advanced, a spirit shaman, builders, architects, planners of the world. So you are a star seed. You may have Arcturian um, in your bloodline and you are advanced. Okay. I'm going to put that over here. Your past ex may see you differently now and want you back. Now that is going to be up to you. Knowledge is the key. Pay attention to those around you. So if this person does come back, I feel like you're going to see something here that maybe you're meant to see about this past ex-person. Wow. Bride and groom. Wedding is in your future. Wow. And deep bond with that on and off relationship only restricts and harms your growth. So you might not want this person back, okay? You may have learned something about this situation if you are maybe looking at taking this person back. I feel like you will pay attention to that. And I feel like you're not, you're that kind hearted person that really never expects anything back, but I can't say the same for your ex, okay? Now, they may even try to lure you in by saying they want to marry you, okay? Now, it's, you have things coming in for you, all right? A new door is opening, so it's time to maybe shut the door to your past. They may be trying to lure you in by saying they want to marry you and telling you all the things you want to hear. Maybe look up gaslighting because sometimes people use that as a way of getting someone to do what they want having something to hold over their head, but having no intention of ever walking down that road. Okay, so you're not happy about this and you may still be anxious and in that anxiety because of this person. So Cancer, let's see here. I feel like you, you have your past is kind of holding you back is what I'm feeling right now. Let's see. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So stepping out of that negative, negative feelings or negative energy and looking at what might be new and keeping that fear out of the equation. It's time to get into that North Node. And I feel like sure you may have been devastated or have anxiety issues because of something that happened in the past, but it's time to look at that now. So you're able to not waste any more time on that terrible feelings you are feeling. It's time to be able to step into that next part of your life without having that looming over, over you, okay? Let's see, what's on the bottom of the deck? Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So there is a huge change gonna happen for you. You just have to step out and into the threshold, step out of your comfort zone and changes will happen for you. All right, let's look at the tarot. Okay, so this person, and I feel like this could be your past person here, this knight or, sorry, King of Swords. This is somebody in the reverse that is kind of cold and ruthless, manipulative. And I'm feeling that manipulation here. And Spirit really wants you to pay attention to this person. Um, they may say, see you differently, but you need to maybe see them differently here, okay? And what this is all about, because really this person that you have a deep bond with, that's this on and off relationship is only restricting your, your growth because 
you're not able to move past this. It just ends up being a cycle again and again and again and again. And the hangman in this tarot after, the hangman, you're not seeing this perspective just yet. And if it was in the upright, you've already seen it. You're already getting some help. She's giving him some water, refreshing him because he's there hanging. But I feel like this is somebody that could get down if they really wanted to, okay? And because it was in the reverse, with the hangman in reverse, this is like, how do I put that? It's like a repeating lesson. This is something that is gonna continue on it. It's like a karmic cycle that keeps going around and around and around and around. And I feel like you already know this. Okay. So let's see, what is your rising sign? This is how people are viewing you. They, they may be viewing this King of Swords as being very cold and a dictator and kind of inhumane even. Let's see, just mean-spirited, trying to manipulate you, telling you things that you, you want to hear in order for them to keep you bound to them so you don't move forward. The morning star, radiance, I shoot for the stars, radiance is my birthright. So this is something that you were me that's meant for you, ca Cancer. So. I feel like this person might be trying to keep that birthright from you, from you getting to that space between and that balance and the harmony. And I feel like you really know who you are. Maybe you have a bit of a temper, but I feel like you know who you are. Let's see, what do we have here? Beloved Zeus, lovers, this comic, karmic, this cosmic, sorry, <laughs> union is destined for greatness. So there is a union coming in for you. This new door that's, that's opening for you that you just have to step through. And that means letting go of this past person. Okay. Mother of the sea, goddess, surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. So go with the flow, okay? And don't try to control the situation and don't let this other person try to control the situation or the narrative. Now this person does not want you to see them this way, but this is how other people are viewing them. They know what this person's up to, okay? Let's look at your luck. Let's see what comes in for your tarot card. You're recovering from this deception. You may have already put this to bed with the 10, Okay, and I kind of feel like this is a lesson that you learned already. This is lessons learned here. So let's see, yes, you may be the king of wands here. Like this is, this is you, you're a visionary. You're very ambitious, you're respected, you're a leader. And I feel like you have some type of authority. You you take risks if you need to. And I feel like you just need the courage, a little bit more courage to do this. Now let's have a look and see what comes in for your Jupiter. Let's pull a card out. The world, the ending. Wow. And this is number 11. This is your Ascended Masters trying to help you see something here. I'm giving you messages here for you to live your best life here. Ah, because once this door closes, a new door opens. This is fruition. This is number nine. Number nine is fruition, attainment, fulfillment of what your heart desires. And this is a man holding a heart. He loves you. This is somebody you're going to fall deeply in love with. Wow. It's just a matter of letting go of this past person that continues continually is in and out of your life trying to hold you back from progressing forward let's see what is your relationship here look at this you're coming in as the queen of pentacles this is somebody that's very practical reliable nurturing very material su material success here i'm feeling financially um very resourceful, maybe even 
willing to give. Let's see here. What does this say? I see. I told you the temperance was going to come in. You've been very patient here. You're in the flow. <clears throat> You're at peace here. I feel like sometimes Cap, um, not Capricorns. Maybe it's a Capricorn coming in. Temperance is usually um, uh, Sagittarius. And this is harmony, peace, being grounded. Maybe even in your life purpose here. You're in the flow. I feel like you may be picking a cup here. There's two cups I'm feeling here. One that you need to dump out and one that's going to bring you that peace and love and harmony and everything you're looking for. This is somebody that is... I was going to say that cancers can sometimes be kind of moody. Like when I look at a cancer, they're very loyal, compassionate, a bit moody, and they can hesitate. They're a little cautious when it comes to things. And I feel like you're kind of calm, cool, and collected here. And even if somebody pokes, pokes, pokes you, it may take a lot before you get into that moody energy where you've had enough, where you're going to blah. <laughs> and you may not even blah, you know what I mean? But they may try to get you in that negative space to make you come out of character okay so let us look at what your relationship looks like your palace here <laughs> engagement ring okay so we do have bride and groom wedding is in your future and this may not even be with this past person you know this has to end for this to come in so you're emotionally and mentally advanced. You're a planner of this world. <clears throat> Whether this person, this ex person sees you differently or not, you need to pay attention to this person and you're gonna see things you need to see. You're gonna see that this is like a karmic cycle that keeps playing over and over. Nothing ever changes. They always ghost you or they come in for a little while and then they're gone again and this bride and groom wedding here may be a new person. This is what's on the line I'm feeling. Like if you choose to go back, you may miss out on this beautiful experience and relationship with this new person. What's on the bottom of the deck? We have cassette. So I kind of feeling like you're, this may be your ex person or this may be you where you have been taught some outdated thinking here maybe some conditioning from parents, friends, relatives, however, siblings, maybe replaying things over in your head here um, about what you truly desire. I feel like there's some type of realization coming in here. Let's look at your tarot card. Yeah, you've healed this. This is the Three of Swords in reverse here, okay? And with the Three of Swords, this is like something unexpected this this is healing whatever stabbed you to begin with that broke your heart and i feel like you're recovering and this this is something unexpected here let's see this is the nine of swords in reverse so this is kind of learning to cope um but <clears throat> you've learned this lesson and I don't know what you're trying to cope with here because when it comes to love, healing family issues. So let's see what comes out for you, Cancer. When it comes to your Venus, your love life, how do you love? How is this going to go for you? All right, this could be the one. You're already met the romantic partner you seek. And I feel like this person's come in, is going to come in when this ends. So this may be somebody you know as an acquaintance, seen around before, or you're not sure how you know this person. May have been from a lifetime previous. Let's see here. <laughs> wedding! This could be the one and wedding. So I feel like with this engagement ring, this is telling us that you just need to be a little more patient here because once you close this door, this new door is opening and this is fulfillment here. 
And then we have, oh, okay, your love life is being affected by children. So this may be somebody you wanted to have children with, this past person, or maybe it's your baby daddy or baby mama, depending on what your situation is. And there may, it could be this new person has children with somebody else, but whatever the case, there may be children involved, which means that it could be a deeper, deeper dive into this new person. I feel like you're really going to, maybe you can have children and they already have children. So it's going to be like a ready-made kind of family or this is, this is beautiful though. Like I feel like this is something you're looking forward to or looking at that you want. Maybe you're looking at this new person as the person you want to have children with. All right, let's have a look at their at your Juno. <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, somebody's coming in for you. Okay. Somebody might know this that's trying to influence you. Okay. So the four swords in reverse. And I kind of feeling with this that it's kind of like recovering so you've you're you're exhausted from whoever this past person is i feeling and you're just needing to take some time somebody might be trying to rush you into making a decision here and you may need to take some time to make a decision or somebody might be trying to rush you to decide and tell them Look at that, Treasure Island. This is fulfillment, number nine, once again, attainment, fulfillment, fruition. And what's on the bottom of the deck? Between worlds. So you're kind of like in that space of maybe that growth. I'm really feeling growth here because you've already learned this lesson. And I feel like you're going to have this courage to end this out let's look at your wealth and see what we have for this look at that the emperor so whoever's coming in for you is your emperor or you are the emperor take it however it resonates and the emperor is that aries passionate stability here power here wealth here and a leader here what's coming in here queen of pentacles in the reverse though okay so this is kind of misplaced priorities, maybe some unhealthy behaviors or insecurity, an unwise choice. So maybe even lying here. So this could be your person and somebody in their energy. This could be you and somebody in your energy, or this could be you and this ex person in your energy take it however it resonates for you support you do have support um, by loved ones i feel or people around you that you feel are family even if they're not blood related i want to get one more here yeah somebody wants to join in they want to join in to help support whatever is going on here yeah, there's emotions here. Somebody's going to really fall for you hard, I feel like. This is somebody that has been looking for you for a lifetime. And they're going to know when they meet you that you are the one. Or they're going to feel like you are the one and you're going to feel like they are the one. And yeah, we do have this could be the one. <laughs> so let's look at your north node, what's going on right now. Wow, okay, so you haven't planted seeds with this person yet. This may be something that's new. Um, maybe you've been making new notes or journaling something new for yourself. Maybe at one point you wanted this ex person back and now you're realizing that, no, that's not so much. That's just gonna be a karmic. I'm gonna end up um, having to repeat some lessons that I've already learned and I don't wanna do that. And you've already experienced a better sense of self for yourself without this person in your life. Okay, so there's some seeds that need to be planted here with this new person that hasn't happened yet. 
in your current life, in your north node, this is what's going on right now. And this person hasn't come in yet, okay? And with the justice in reverse, I'm kind of feeling like um, this may be, well, this is Libra, so somebody might be having to pay some karmic debts. They may have an unwelcome change that they hadn't expected. They may have some unbalanced that they need to balance here. So, but I feel like once you, <laughs> once you meet this person and this starts to happen, this is what's going to happen. Everything's going to balance out. And I feel like with the justice in the, the, the tarot after, okay, this is after this balance and everything happens, right? And this is doing the right things. And maybe there's some type of conflict here that maybe you help balance something out for somebody when it comes to maybe these fam family here. But right now this hasn't happened. So let's see what's going on here with your current life. Yeah, somebody might have some ballot health. This is number four. So this is about stability, maybe some manifestations, maybe even structure. Somebody's paying a karmic debt right now this could be you or your person. Take it how it resonates. You know what's going on in your life. So let's see. Yeah, you may feel bound to someone else or feel imprisoned by somebody from your past. Your Ascended Masters are really trying to help you here. This person or this is you that you haven't planted these seeds and that is paying this debt feels like they can't break free. Or maybe they are in jail. Yeah, this may have something to do with the house. They may end up losing their house. This may cause them to be in um, a bad state of mind. Or this is a lesson somebody needed to learn. Whether this was your karma or your person's karma, they may have to walk away and give up some things in order to come forward maybe from somebody that they are with. And with the two there, I feel like that could be a partnership that they are trying to get away from. So let us look here, or it could be you. So take it how that resonates. That's the time. So let's look at what spirit wants to tell you. So we have an offer here. This is the King of Pentacles, and we had you as maybe the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This could be you having this karma. This could be somebody else that's getting karma, your person's person that's getting karma. So I kind of feel like it might be, you might be the emperor and this might be your past person or your new person that is definitely receiving some type of karma. In any case, the Hierophant is here, so this may have to do with spirituality. Now, your person is going to be very like-minded like you are, I'm feeling here with this. And the Hierophant has to do with wedding and marriage. So this may have to be about a divorce. Maybe somebody wants to give you that. Maybe they have to go and get divorced or they want to really marry you. Maybe they have a house they want you to come and move into. Let's see here. However, it's resonating for you. This is teaching and learning. Archangel Z Zakiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. So you may be a teacher here or your person is. They may teach you some things that you needed to know. Wow. I, I felt there was some type of Claire audience or some type of Claire here and it's come out. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your head or from other people. And this are messages from spirit trying to uh, communicate with you. You may hear them quite clearly. Let's see, breathe. 
Yeah, it might be a little bit of a shock that you have this Claire. Maybe you've never experienced it before, but take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. And I feel like this is that old outdated conditioning that you may have. Maybe you are going to get into some type of meditation group or when you two to come together, you may be able to help this person deal with stress. This may be this bad health and you may be able to alleviate some. This wants to come too, so I'm gonna take it. Let's see, this is about, um, this card is the cards of time. This card here uh, is through the eyes of the soul. And of course, then we have the tarot after, which is what happens after the tarot. Okay, so those are some of the new cards that I got. Um, let's see here, the world. Yeah, you know that, that the way things have to happen is you have to close out one cycle in order for something new to come in. Now, it may have been a few seasons before uh, your past came back and then maybe you saw them differently so now it's you've paid attention to some things here and you're ready to build something new with this bride and groom and wedding I feel like you have a sense that there's new coming in for you or that's what you're waiting for or wanting to have happen and it's here you end it now it could be a season before your new person comes in and maybe only until summertime um take it however it resonates for you yeah this hasn't happened yet but it's coming in and this is the four of wands but it's in reverse so this is kind of like recovery you're recovering from whatever this ending is i feel like you're gonna heal it everything is in progress so eight days or eight weeks and i feel like with the days or weeks this could be that fire energy leo aries or sag and weeks is kind of that air energy aquarius gemini or libra and i think we saw libra already in here so let us grab the bottom of the deck for this to get one more card Tuesday Mars okay start being creative put down a marker okay this is like going within I feel like you're going to see what you need to see this is Mars energy so <clears throat> with Mars this is kind of like that tower how you deal with life this is that upheaval this is about awakening and accepting this change. So I feel like you will, um, but it may take a little bit of time, um, but you just need to have that cycle end before things can come forward. There's the treasure island here, but you may be kind of in between right now, but things are all going into your north node this is what's going on currently right now i feel like whatever emotions you're feeling about stepping out of that comfort zone for the comfort zone it could be as easy as not listening to the negative thoughts that you might have for yourself this may be um thinking more positively or looking at your life in best life terms of what you've already learned and what you're needing to leave behind to move forward in order to have that growth, have that lessons that you've already learned and let go of whatever's been looming over you for some time. And I feel like whatever health this person's in and feeling imprisoned, whether that's you or your person, I feel like there's going to be some type of help here. There's going to be an offer. This is gonna help bring this person into where they need to be. Whether it's you or them, I feel this bad health, you're gonna help them maybe learn how to meditate, how to deal with stress. And I feel like this is really gonna help their health or they're going to help your health. Take it however it resonates for you. So let's look at the tarot 
end of the or the bottom of the deck of the tarot. So we have the King of Cups in reverse right now. So they have not brought this offer in just yet. Okay. Let's see what the tarot after has to say. Look at that, the Emperor. They are still in the upright. So they just haven't come in with this offer just yet. So, but they are coming in and this is your treasure island. This is what you've been waiting for. All right, you guys, Cancer, this is what I have for you. You have some beautiful things coming in for you. A wedding, this could be the one. This is maybe the one you're gonna have children with or they may already have children. This is going to be with the number three, very much a creative, um, I feel like a manifestation for you that you're going to be very creative when you bring this in. This is going to be how you deal with your life and what you're looking for in your life. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of feeling with that Mars, this is going to be something sudden that you're not going to be expecting here. Okay. This is action of free will for me, okay? You're going to get messages and you're going to teach whatever you have here. You're going to teach to this person or others. Wow, this is really great for you. Anyhow, this is what I have. So please like, share and subscribe and become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. And if you'd like to donate, you can pop into the de description box below and pop that down. There is a um, PayPal account there. You just click on that and it'll bring you right into PayPal so you can donate if you'd like through PayPal or you can do the super thanks. I will be going live hopefully in beginning of June. So look for that. I will have a premiere of that as well. So. Take care, you guys. Stay blessed, and we will see you next time. All right, later.